Good evening fellow campers, motoromers and lovely people. Nice to have you here yet again. Now, don't make videos like this normally. We don't like doing negative videos. Mazzy doesn't even want to be in this video. <laughs> uh, she just thinks it's a scam and that's her last word on it. It's about the camping and caravanning club. I have mentioned this the other night on a live, telling them what the problem is and how disgusted we are. And I had a big response. So if you saw the live, you already know what the problem is, but I'm going to have to go through it all again, uh, just for this video. The, car the Camping and Caravanning Club. Lovely club. Uh, lovely campsites. Wonderful wardens and staff on every single one we've been on. Absolutely love them. Um, obviously you've got the Caravan and Motorhoming Club. Caravan and Motorhome Club, which is what we had been joined in the previous years. Um, and we thought, we keep hearing about the Camping and Caravanning Club and thought, shall we join that and give us more options of places to stay? Um, and what really clinched it for us was this offer. This offer! Right. Apparently, there was something going on. I can't remember. It was probably in uh, February when I saw this offer. And it says you get an extra night free if you book within this week. So I discussed it with Mazzy, who's sat here by the way, but she's not saying anything. I discussed it with Mazzy. I said, shall we do this? Because we'll get another night free. So that's two nights we're going to get free. That's like £60 pounds we're going to save. 50, 50, 60 pounds. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, because that's how much it costs to join the club anyway. So we'll get his money back. So we went for it. We um, joined the club. Very happy. Got us vouchers. Thought, right, we'll use them up throughout this year. We went to a few of the Camping and Caravanning Club sites, loved them. We loved the way they did things, you always like follow someone round on a bicycle and they take you to a pitch and they ask you what you want and really, really friendly, as they call themselves, the friendly club, they really are friendly. Uh, loved them to bits. Until, tried to redeem one of these, which meant uh, ringing the number. It says on it to redeem this, basically you have to give them a ring on a certain number to use it. So, trying to ring. Couldn't get through. Um, it just said, sorry, as phones are extremely busy at the moment, uh, call back later. Not you're at the back of the queue and you'll wait, have to wait half an hour. Call back later. So, first problem with the club, uh, not, not enough people manning the telephones because it's ridiculous if you can't get through. And this isn't a one-off. Anyone who's been trying to call this club this year have had the same problem. Can't get through to them. I tried about five or six different times over five or six different months to try and get through to redeem these. Couldn't get through. So the other day, I thought, you know what? These run out on December, at the end of the December. Need to get these used. So I'm going to ring and ring and ring. So I just kept ringing. Sorry, try us later. Redial. Sorry, try us later, redial. Did that about 15 times. I'm quite uh, persistent when I need to be. Finally got put in a queue. You are eighth in the queue. Waited about half an hour, got through to this woman. So as I say, if you watched the live the other night, you already know this story, but I have to say it again. So I'm speaking to her, I says, hello there, I'd like to book three nights, please, and use my buy one, get one free um, voucher. Oh, all right then, all right then. Um, well, you have to send that in to us. Uh, can I take your details? So I took all the details, asked us which site it was, whether we wanted electric, gas pitch, gas pitch? Grass pitch, etc, etc, etc. All went through fine, booked. She says, right, you're going to have to pay, it's £75, I think it was. You're going to have to pay a, a £25 deposit. I says, oh, I'll just pay it in full. Okay then. Um, right, took all the details, all paid for. She says, right, that's gone through for you, thank you. I says, well, what, what about this uh, free night? Oh, yeah, well, you've just paid in full, so you won't be able to get that on this now. What? What? Um, and you have to send that in to us anyway. You can't do it over the phone. I says, well, it says on here, do it over the phone. 
She says, well, what we normally do is there's a bit on the back which you tear off, which is that side. You go to the campsite, that gets filled in and sent into them, apparently, and you get your money back. So you would pay up front and then you'd get your money back. But we're not doing it this at the moment because of COVID. Uh, we don't want the staff handling them. Right, so... Why can't I just ring up and use it online like it says on the voucher? That's what it's supposed to be for. Because of COVID, as I just said, because of COVID, everything's changed. So hang on a minute. You want me to have my COVID, fill out this form and put my COVID-filled hands all over it whilst I'm filling it in, and then send it into your office full of COVID, first class, so it'll still be on there, and then you pick up my COVID-filled piece of paper voucher and then type it all in the computer and get COVID. I didn't actually put it in them words, but you know where I'm coming from. Which is, well, as I say, it's all because of COVID, it's all changed now. So basically, what I'm trying to say is this club is trying their very, 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 very best to make sure you don't redeem these. So, as far as I'm concerned, I've got £50, £60 in my hand, and I want it back. Um, this isn't just me. This is everybody. I'm starting to get wound up now, can you tell? The more I talk about it, the madder I'm getting. So, we mentioned this on a live the other night. Um, and I said to people, if anyone else has experienced this, will you let me know? 15 people got back in touch with us. One person said, I did actually manage to redeem mine, um, but it took quite a long time to get it all sorted, and I did have to have eventually send it in. And I, I booked something about a month in advance. Brilliant. Well done you. Sorry it took you so long and hard, and it was so hard to get it redeemed, but you got it redeemed. That's one out of 15 people. 14 people got in touch saying, you know what? Exactly the same problem as you. Can't get, can't redeem these. It's, it's just nothing. It means nothing. You can't do up with them. That's 15 very annoyed people and me, 16 very annoyed people. Out of them, 15 people. So 14 of them haven't managed to redeem them. Eight of them people have said they are not going to join this club again because they're that disgusted. That's eight out of them. And now you're on to me. Um, I'm in exactly the same situation. I've got £50, £60 in my hand. Camping and caravanning club, if I can't get these used by the end of the year, through the telephone, I'm not sending these. And I'll tell you why. Because we don't know where we're going to be in five days. So I can't send this in to use it for a site in three weeks time which is what you're asking people to do by the sound of it i want to ring up this number like it says on here and get a free night on a campsite it's the same with a lot of companies isn't it you know when you join catalogs and stuff back in the 80s and 90s they used to do this didn't they uh, join up with us now and we'll give you 15 pounds off your first order and things like that and it comes to the crunch and they don't want to what well, they don't want to give you it back. Well I'm telling you now, either give me my fifty pounds, let me use these vouchers without having to send them in to you and give you my COVID, because that's obviously what you're worried about, or your excuse. Uh, let me use my vouchers or give me fifty pounds. Otherwise I will be leaving the club after this year and I will certainly be recommending to people don't join the camping and caravanning club camping and caravanning club and i always get it wrong so yeah disgusted i wanted to get it out there i need to tell you all about this and i still want to hear from other people who have got the same problem please email us travel tv at hotmail.com tell us your problems uh, and we're going to pass it all on we need to all stand together don't we we're not going to be pushed about by a club this is money we want it back this is the voucher in question for people who don't know what i'm talking about it says, buy one, get one free camping night on UK club sites. Now, there is terms and conditions on the back. Uh, things like, it's only on a standard pitch or a club service pitch. It's not, you can't use it on, I think it was the forest ones that they do. No cash alternative will be offered for any voucher. Huh, okay. Um, can't be used on a bank holiday. You know, there's loads of things, but it does say conditions of use number 10. Can you read that? 
I don't know if that's going to focus, I'll be honest. So I'm going to have to read that out for you. There you go, number 10 at the top. It actually says, to use this voucher, to use this voucher, yeah, this is how you use this voucher, because that's what it says on the back under number 10. To use this voucher, <clears throat> you must book your pitch through the Camping and Caravanning Club Service Centre, which is the number at the bottom here. It says, to book, I've had to cover my voucher things, because maybe, just maybe, I might be able to redeem this. So I've had to cover the numbers up. I doubt it. But it does say, to book, please call, and it gives you the number. Which you can't get through to. So, uh, you must book your pitch through the Camping and Caravanning Club Service Centre, which is that number. Quoting, quoting the voucher reference number. Which is there, or there. So that is how you redeem it. You have to ring them up, book your pitch, and quote this number. They're the ones who's telling it. This is their rules, not mine. And that's how they're saying I have to use this. So why, when I'm ringing up, and I can't get through anywhere, why are they telling me, no, that ain't how you do it, you've got to send it in to us. We used to have it where you can rip that off and send that in, the club would send it in or something, I don't know. Uh, but now you've got to send it in to us because of Covid. Because we want to have your Covid by you touching that and sending it in to us. Rather than ringing up, giving them the voucher number as stated uh, in guidelines number 10 on the back of the coupon. It's just a scam. It is a scam. They're just coming up with an excuse not to give you your money back. Well don't do it then because all you're doing is you're getting lots of people who aren't going to be rejoining next year and annoying a lot of people and some of them people who are annoyed are actually going to be getting very 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 irate like me at this very moment in time i've had enough i've had enough i want something done about it i don't know if you can hear the streamer man in the background there's actually two of them today there's one on that side one on that side so we've got it in stereo streamer streamer no lawn mowers today Every time I pick up the camera, they're there. Anyway, I'm going to try and calm down now. As I say, the Camping and Caravanning Club call themselves the Friendly Club, and face to face, we have found they are very, very friendly and very, very helpful. On the phone, uh, the service has been disgusting so far. They weren't friendly when I rang up. Uh, they were just trying to fob me off with this. Um... And there isn't, obviously, there isn't enough people manning the phones so that people can get through to the, to the, to the club. On top of that, tried to find uh, somewhere, like a complaints department. You look on the websites, you look on all the literature, you can't find one. They haven't got a complaints department as such. Well, you need one. You definitely need one. Uh, anyway, as I say, lovely club. But please sort this out. I'm going to leave it there. Good one, Mazzy. Thank you very much. Yeah. Mazzy just says, well, why don't you get in touch with them before, you know, just to tell them your predicament? Because I can't get in touch with them, Mazzy, because nobody answers the phones. And when you do get through to the phones, it's only a booking number. There isn't a complaints number. Oh. Anyway. I'm going to leave that there. Thank you for watching, people. Sorry to have a rant and a moan, but sometimes it needs doing, doesn't it? Can you remember the last time we had a problem with the um, Caravan and Motorhome Club about filming on campsites? Well, they got in touch with us. It got sorted out. We came back and we made a, a, we told you what they'd said and everything was sorted out. Everyone is now happy with the Caravan and Motorhome Club and we can film on there, no problem. Let's hope the Camping and Caravanning Club do something similar. Just a few days left now and then we are setting off and you will be back to daily travel vlogs. Okay, catch you all very soon. Have a good night. Bye-bye.